out there. I was recently uh, watched the uh, release of the ProPresenter 6 7 beta by Cody. And uh, one of the things that he showed in that video was, uh, you know, the scrolling text. And as you can see, they got the moving background. Uh, you got that scrolling text uh, that's behind uh, the video here. And uh, then Brad uh, did a video on how to do scrolling text, but the one thing he didn't show is how to do that. So I figured it out and I figured that I just uh, do a little video here to kind of show you how to do it. So here is my attempt. And as you can see right there, uh, there's the, uh, the text uh, scrolling in the background as a part of the worship slide. And as you advance, it does that. So I'm just going to show you how I did it. Uh, it wasn't uh, as easy as I thought it was, or not, I should say, it wasn't uh, what I thought it was going to be as a simple theme. Um, but, uh, but anyways, I figured it out. So let me go to my theme editor, and I'll show you how it's done. Uh, let me just go back real quick, and let me just show you some of the elements. I've got, you know, big text right here moving here. I've got this text moving in the opposite direction. Had to figure out a little little trick on that to get it to where it, it shows up here. And then uh, I've got you know some more text right here uh, that's moving along. Um, and as you can see, I've got it at different speeds as well. I'm gonna try and show you uh, quickly in this uh, how that's all accomplished. I'm gonna go into my theme editor. There's what the current theme looks like with all of the, the different stuff that's in here. Um, let me turn that back on, there you go. Um, but now I'm gonna show you how I actually created it. So I'm just gonna use my template here uh, that, that I have and I'm gonna just do a control C and a control V and there it is copied. And I'm gonna put this up at the top where it's easy to get to. Uh, I'm gonna do a real quick name change Double click, come on, double click. Double click, come on, name change, rename, there we go. Um, scroll, text, demo. Okay, so right now that's just what I have uh, for uh, my current text box. Um, typically when we do uh, full screen uh, text uh, in our services. Three lines is the maximum that I'll do. And so um, that's just the template that I've got currently set up. So what I did to, uh, to start off is I went up here to add media. So, um, or was it video input? Uh, it was video input is what I went to. So there's the video input box. And then I went to linked text and under choose type, I did current slide. And then I made sure it was set for text. So that right there. And then under the shape, I went over here and I did turn off the fill. So there is no fill at all with that. So basic setup. Uh, I am a CMG SANS uh, user, and so for the top one, I did a bold italic, and I did uh, capitalization, all caps, and then let's just get this all set up, and there we go, and on this first one, I went to a size of 400. So as you can see, it's kind of cut off. And uh, we are gonna use this one as pretty much kind of our initial template. So there we go. There's our, our first one right there. So now uh, on line transform, I did go remove line returns because as you can see, I have it here as three lines, but I don't want three lines in here. I want it to be one line. So I said, remove line returns. There we go. And then uh, that's, that's it for now up here. We'll, we'll play with color and transparency here in a minute. Then I went into scrolling. 
So there you go. Uh, and uh, if I just leave my speed right there, uh, I am going to turn off repeat. Uh, that's one of the little tricks that I learned, especially when I wanted the scrolling to go in the reverse. Uh, I was having an issue where it took forever for it to come in. So if we just go and uh, just take a look at that real quick, I'm going to do change the theme. We'll do that right there, you'll see it change. And then when I click on it, boom, there it is. So you can see how fast it is right here. And you know, there's, and then as we advance, it does that. So let's go back into the theme editor and let's go ahead and uh, I see that it's cut off just a touch. There we go. Um, so let's go ahead and let's adjust our transparency. So I, I right now I'm using white. Uh, you, you know, use whatever color you want. Uh, I tried black as well. Um, and uh, it just didn't seem to pop out as much as I wanted. So I went to white and then on my opacity here, I went down, I believe, to 5%. So there's 5% right there. So this right here is going to be my base that I get set up uh, for, you know, the rest of these. So I'm going to go ahead and put this below. I'm going to turn this off just where we don't look at it right now. Um, so there's the base. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of feathering. And the feathering, Brad does a great job of explaining it but basically it kind of feathers the inside here and out as far as kind of the you know fading in on this one i'm going to bring my speed down to two percent so let me go back and let me do the theme as you can see that's currently the way it was so let me now update the theme and you'll see the difference that this is doing and boom, you can see how it's now transparent um, and much slower, you know, and a little bit of feathering in and out. I could probably add a little bit more feathering to that. Let's go back to theme editor. And so click on that. I'm going to add a little bit more feathering. Maybe 10%. There we go. All right. So that's good enough. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of building, you know, a, um, a layer uh, of various. So I'm going to just going to do Command C, Command V. Wait, there we go. And let me just bring it down so we can see it. And so now I'm going to this box here. I want it to go in the opposite direction. Boom. And I want this text to be, uh, let's go half that size. Um, there we go. And I'm going to get this to where, and then I'm going to bring this to where that is pretty much, boom, centered up right there. You know what, that text is probably, I'm going to say is it's still a little big, so I'm going to bring that down to 150. So again, let me bring this down and, and let's bring that up. There we go. So there's that text. Now I want to show you what happens um, when I have the repeat turned on. And I'm going to go ahead and just set that to zero. That's the distance between the repeated lines. Uh, but I want to show you what happened. This is what took me actually a little bit to figure out um, as to why it was doing what it was doing. And it was because of that repeat. So here we go. And now, uh, as you can see, you know, the new theme is there. I'm going to click on it. And, oh, okay, well, there it is. And, okay, there we go. There we go. As you can see, you see the line is not there, and it actually will take some time for that to come in. Um, it's advancing, it's advancing, it's advancing. I think this was, the, the text was still 
kind of loaded in is the reason why I did it on that. But what I did is once I figured it out is I turned the repeat off, go back, update the theme, and then you'll see that the text will show up immediately. So there it is. Okay, there we go. Um, so let's go back into the theme editor. Uh, I'm going to click on that box. I'm actually going to increase the speed just a touch, maybe double that up at 4%. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to that and I'm going to Command C, Command V. And there we go. Let me bring it down. And again, I want it to go in this direction. Uh, I think I'm going to double up the speed. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to go 6%. My size here is 150. So here, let's go, let's go 300. And let's uh, go ahead and... Now, this is just the way that I'm doing it. I'm not saying this is the right way. Um, you know, I may make modifications to this, but, uh, you know, it's just, just a way. So I'm going to bring that down so I can kind of know where my, where my layers are. There we go. That one, that one. Um, so again, this one is running at 2%. This one is running at 6%. Um, with the 300 font, uh, you know what? I am going to take the bold off and make that a little bit different. I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to change up my style a little bit here. Uh, I'm going to maybe go semi bold. There we go. So kind of change up in, you know, the, the font weight a little bit. Um, I think that looks good for that one. Really kind of shows a little bit different. Um, 300 though still seems a little big. So let's go down to 275. Yeah, there we go. Now let me readjust this. Let me bring it down. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to get it to where the box is the right size as I layer these on top. Okay. I'm going to do one more. Um, I think I'm going to do, um, again, use that as my template. So Command C, Command V. I'm going to bring it down. I think I'm going to leave it the same font weight. No, actually, I'm going to change it up. I'm going to go, let's see, bold, black. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to bring this size down quite a bit. Uh, to let's do a 175. There we go. Um, then I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna bring this in. There we go. And then I think I'm gonna do on the speed here. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. Eh, I'm gonna just double it up at four percent. So. This one's at 4%. And then this one here is at 6%. That one that's going in the opposite direction is 4%. And then this one is, I believe, at 2%, the big one. 2%. Okay. So, so that means that this one here, 4%. And then that one at six, you know what? So I'm going to, I'm going to make that one probably 8%. There we go. Really kind of where you see it a little bit different. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. So currently that's what I had. Let me, let me add the theme and it's working. It's working. Okay, as you can see, so let's get it there and go there. 
yeah, there we go. As you can see, this is, you know, it's just real subtle in the background. I don't think I would use this on every song. I think I would use it mainly on uh, songs that are either very high energy at the very beginning of worship service. Uh, you know, if you come out of the gate, uh, you know, with in a celebration mode. Um, and then, you know, maybe if it's a special uh, where certain words are, you know, you're really wanting to be highlighted, I would do it. Um, but I don't think I would do this on every song uh, that we have in our worship set, which is typically a four or five song set list. All right, so let's go to the theme editor. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just now going to, you know, copy and I'm going to, uh, you know, build it from the bottom. So I'm going to go down here. Um, so that's the bottom one. And then that one. We're going to do command C, command V. It's going to put it up here at the top, which I'm going to put it down here now. And uh, you know, the, the guide marks are awesome in Pro Presenter 7 uh, in helping you build this. Command C, command V on that one, the third layer, which goes right there. Um, and there we go. And then the very last one, command C, command V. And it's going to be the fourth one there. And I'm going to bring that in. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go, and as you can see, that's what it looks like there. Let's add the theme that we just created. And as you'll see, as it finishes, all of that will be lined up. It's crunching. Yes, this is in real time. Boom. There we go. And then, boom, there we go. So it's just an added little little element. Uh, again, when I saw initially, uh, you know, in the demo uh, live uh, stream that, that Cody had done, and I saw this, I was like, oh, I have got, that's the one thing I think on the scrolling text. Although there's a lot of different things you can do with scrolling text, which is great, especially uh, for, uh, you know, lower third scrolling announcements for your live stream, especially if you do a pre pre roll or pre service, um, you know, introduction, uh, I was like, I need to know how to do that. Um, but there you go. That's how you do it. Now, here's the one question that uh, I still don't have uh, answered because I have not implemented this for a Sunday service yet. Uh, but that is, uh, I don't know uh, how much resources this is going to take on uh, you know, on our Pro Presenter production machine, we're running an iMac Pro uh, for our production Pro Presenter Seven, and that's all it runs. It doesn't do any other uh, functions except Pro Presenter. Uh, so I have no idea how much it's going to really kind of you know put on you know resources in running all of that on the screen. I may have to scale it back. Um, I may play with uh, you know maybe making one of those lines just you know the the opacity just a little bit more where it stands out but uh but there you go um i hope that helps and i hope you all have fun and uh look forward to uh to seeing or hearing from you if you got any questions take care have a great weekend